Hello everyone, this is John Dylan Smith, and today, as op opposed to... And, eh, I'm sorry, this is my first time doing a video recording of myself ta ta talking to you and touring a place, given that I'm not used to such a thing. But today I thought I'd sh share with you guys a simple little tour of my bedroom. I hope you all enjoy this, and I hope, and I do hope this proves to be very entertaining. <clears throat> First of all, let me show you off my Louisiana bed, or no, my bed, with multiple comforters that I've acquired over the years from several different people, including the Louisiana blanket. I obviously got my little drawer here, which has a whole bunch of clothes in it, no duh. And Polaroids that I've accumulated over the years, along with some various books, some t live action TV shows I have yet to get to, and a bunch of magazines and books I hope to get through and get to in the near future. And this here under this book, which is the Beyonder, this is a little fantasy series I'm currently crafting up. I have no idea when I'll get to it. Hopefully sometime in the near future. My computer desk, which has a, a little alarm clock. And my computer itself, which is... I think it's Intel... Not really sure since I'm not, well, I'm kind, kind of computer literate, but I'm not very knowledgeable on computers. And, and my nice little wooden desk that I brought at a Woodcraft. I'm not, on my po above that are my po posters of my two favorite bands as of right now. The wonderful, awesome band known as from from the UK is known as Pink Floyd, and it, it's it's one of their albums, the Division Bell, which I have no idea. This is, seems very interesting because it almost seems like a head that has been split in the mi middle, or or is like. Two heads coming near one another. It's an interesting picture interpretation, to say the least. And I wanted something a little more iconic than their other albums. And also, a quick reminder, they done stuff aside from the wall and, and uh, d the dark, dark side of the moon. Oh, right here, well, also another one of my favorite bands of all time, or, or at least my current favorite band, fa band from, from the late 90s, Green Day. Don't have much more to say. Above here are some of my superhero drawings. Their little poster of, um, from Wizard Ma uh, Wizard Magazine that I've read, featuring an Alex Ross painting of the X Men. All right, we're gonna turn around here and go straight to my bookcase, my graphic novel CD bookcase.
And I, by the way, folks, my, my, I know that my voice sounds kind of annoying and you don't want to hear me blab, 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 blab for, for so many minutes. I don't know how, how long. And I don't want this video to go on forever, so I will be quiet now and just let you take a nice little t tour of this bookcase and I will show you some other stuff. All my CDs, in which I put them into genres. I think this is genuine rock, boy ba band, and Christian music. I got my knees, and yeah, it's a little bit dusty. I should, I should really do something about that very soon. All the heavy metal that and other genuine rock, rock and roll that I that I own, hoping to obtain, obtain more very soon. A, bu a bunch of um, musical instrumental instrumental CDs where it's more focused on instrumental music as opposed to. As opposed to it just having a whole bunch of people sing a few pop songs and a few jazz artists here and there. And finally, more, more Celt, a bunch of Celtic female singers and other female singers, more jazz music. And some more Christian music. And I don't know about this really. I'll have to see about putting these CDs in a different spot when I get mo when I get more CDs to replace those right there. <clears throat> My manga collection, which I which I've organized into three different categories the sh everything that's owned by Shonen Jump it is everything that every single manga st story that is not Shonen Jump and a few video few video game adapted mangas A few of my figurines. I'm hoping maybe I'm to place some more magazines over here in the near future. And my little coin bank that I am ho ho storing all my coins in. Sitting on top of a collection of old Calvin Hobbes stri newspaper strips. Still one of the best newspaper pa comic strips if you ask me and we have more graphic novels and the thing about this right here is that unlike unlike the other stuff I'd had no no I didn't really think to separate certain comic companies from cer certain others. So it's a bit of a mishmash between Marvel, DC, and other various publishers. All right, we're 
are done there. My little entertainment center along with my... I forget the name of this. It's Sanyo T Television that I got for myself one day. This is where I keep all my video game consoles and my, D and my DVD player and set... And no, folks, I don't really in intend on upgrading it to regular Blu-ray because I'm not that big on Blu-ray. It's mainly, the consoles right here consist of mainly PlayStation and Wii U and maybe one day I'll see about putting in an Xbox 360. Or, or, or an Xbox One in there in the place of the PlayStation, so that way it's all three ma ma the major video ga ga game console companies. And also my little my little thing there. Dreams don't work unless you do. Some more DVD fil fil a little DVD film collection right here. These are consistent these consist of films that I haven't watched yet. That I probably will get around to at some point in the near future. Oh, well, that's why. Ah. Sorry. Sorry about that. That wire was taking up a little bit of space. And also one. I think I won this in high school. I won this in one of my schools for. It was kind kind of a good behavior reward system, and they had these Lord of the Ring figures figures on display play at the school. These action figures, and it looks pretty cool. Now. You probably can't see all that in there, but this is where I keep a whole bu bunch of mediocre crappy movie. No, no mediocre bad movies that, that were, to me, were just really, really, really bad. Essentially, it's a shelf full of garbage. And that's why I have this mostly closed most of the time. So no one would have to see that, what I own. Also, here's a whole bunch of junky, awful horror films that I own. I don't, I probably don't have time to show, to go through my entire film collection since I want this video to be, be a little short. Maybe one day in the future, I'll get around to showing you my collection of films and giving my honest opinion on each one. But for right now, let's keep this quick and, and breezy. <clears throat> ah. Not too much stuff in there. This is where I keep... All the all the bad mediocre comic book adaptations and all the sequels to films I've seen. Next of all, we got my posters that I, you can find these easily on Amazon, folks, these three things, these three posters, and I probably would have a fourth poster right there, but, oh, the glare is really bad. Sorry about that, but the glare right there was a little bad on one of them. 
Hope you all can see that one perfectly fine. And that one, that one. I would put put something there, but I'm playing. But that's not really a whole bunch of room, and I'm put, playing on putting another bookcase right here for more novels and and, and other and, and a few other self-help books and all that stuff. But I think you can find them easily on Amazon for. These are eleven seventeen posters, and it's really cool, really cool stuff. All right, gonna move move over here. It, my, I forget the size of the frame, but it's based on the cartoon series Avatar: The Last Airbender. Done done in a purple metallic glow, which which, which looks extremely extremely nice. I th I forget the name of the site, but it was not Amazon. I think it was. I forget really. My memory is not really the best in the world. I think it was wait wait red red bubble red bubble red bubble. They had some pretty cool stuff on there. I'm pretty sure that if you're a fan of this show, you might find. I'm pretty sure of it that that for certain cartoons and anime and stuff out there, you might find an interesting bubble poster for one of those shows on that site. My little cl my clothes, obviously. This is my closet. All my baseball caps that I've accumulated over the years, and some worn out hats that are no longer of use. Sorry, but it's really hard to record and and show you all the hats. Some of them, though, I haven't worn a whole bunch since it, it, it you can't really wash them a whole bunch, given that they shrink, and also the fact that they have a habit of collecting dust, hair, and sweat on them, which makes it super uncomfortable for me to wear them. But still, it's not nice to have them up here and... and have a ni nice little glimpse at them from time to time. And yes, for the record, that is a pink baseball cap. Because believe it or not, folks, it takes a true man to wear pink. Well, to some extent, and I don't have any other pink clothes aside from that. And up here... Hang on folks. I'm going I'm going to get on my chair and record so you can get a better view. And a little fish tank up here. I don't know remember where I don't remember where I got it. Can you see that folks? A big DVD D collection right here, and also up over here is where I keep all the. I want to say I keep all the Oscar bait films and the 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 non Disney kids film collection and the Clint Eastwood collection of films that he's. Written and directed the Peter the collection consisting of Peter Jackson and all the films he, good films he's made so far the fantasy films which mi mixes in with the chick the female chick flick films along with a little Stephen King collection. And a little Tim Burton collection. Gonna 
probably going to see about moving that first Blood DVD over to the next section. Along with a little war movie collection. My, my essential action shoot 'em up action movie collection. Oh. Next to it is the is the comedy collection and the Marvel superhero film collection. I I don't know what to make of this really, but but the uh, no the uh, Christmas collect film collection and the Disney animated library collection. I'll have to do something about the Axel Turst one day. The horror film collection. We have some films that should be in other areas, but I may have to I may have to see about changing that one day. Along with a little Stanley Kubrick collection. And the collection consisting of films done by Steven Spielberg. Looper, I don't know where that goes because it's not in any particular genre. And the DC Comics slash Christopher Nolan collection. And the films that I just don't like but everyone else. I'll let you have one more glimpse of this. Sorry about all the glare. And I really need to see about dusting that one day. It's hard to tell given that I have the light off in here most of the time. <laughs> And there's one more area of the room we have yet to see, folks. My video game collection consisting of a whole bunch of PS3 and PlayStation 2 and Nintendo Wii and Wii U games. I don't know if i got time to show everything here, and I may have to make a separate video about that and finally the cartoon anime co collection DVD collection <clears throat> let me see if I can move this yeah this is prob probably the best view you're gonna get guys It's really difficult to get in here. Maybe I can do it. Oh wait, I can move it. Here you guys go. Sorry about all that. Maybe one day, like the video games and the films, I will go back and make another video on on the on my little collection and give you my honest opinion about most of these shows in here that I've seen. Maybe do a little critique, I don't know. And this part right here that that's where I'm gonna put all my live action TV shows and all my comic books. <clears throat> oh, and I forgot to mention my, up top of my bookcase, right here, my little figurines of a little alligator head that I think I acquired at some airport.
And I think the teeth on there are, the teeth right here are the only things that were really faked about them. And everything else was ju just ripped in skin from a real alligator. A little Christmas snow globe I got one Christmas, I think. Joseph, Mary, and their little son celebrating peace on Earth. And one of the great, and one of the few greatest cinematic villains ever, ever put on film. Darth Vader himself stands and watch, watches over the bookcase. I think I got that, got that, I got that while job hunting one time. And yes, that is my lamp right there. Well, everyone, that pretty much does it for the room tour. I'm sorry if I stuttered a whole bunch, but like I said, I'm. Pr this is my first time making a video. If you like what you've seen here, I may put out more videos as time goes by. As always, if anything, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope I hope I I I I gave you something entertaining to watch. I'm struggling for words right now, folks. I hope you all have a good day today. God bless you all, and take care.